how's it going guys welcome to double o heaven now i do apologize it's been a little while uh, there's been quite a few things going on and work that's had me pretty much nailed behind the bar since the beginning of january but uh, i have managed to get a couple of things going and i've been planning a new layout and um i've been also doing the research on that as well and it's going to be based on the Poppy Line, which is the North Norfolk Railway between Sheringham and Hull. And um, I'll be taking a visit there in a couple of weeks because it's the Spring Gala there. So we're going to be going there, riding on a few trains. And also I'm going to pay you a little visit to Smith's Model Railways and uh, see what bargains he's got in there as well. But uh, as you can probably notice... <clears throat> Uh, for you guys who know my channel, I've got quite a few different locomotives here, which I wouldn't normally go for. Now, the reason why I've got these is because um, on the Poppy Line, the North Norfolk Railway, they actually have a few of these diesel engines on there. So I've got a selection of a few here. We've got 101 DMU, uh, Class 37 and um, also a D5572, which I think is also a class 31. Now the reason why I've got three of these is because um, they're all in separate spares and repairs condition. Uh, this one does work, just need a clean up. Um, these two came a day, I've not tested them yet, I was told they work, so we'll stick them on the track and see what they can do. But we're gonna give them a clean up anyway. Um, I've also, gone and bought a separate motor for one as well which is for the, the DMUs over here and I've got the motors for the other ones which I took out and had a look at so um, we can give those a clean up as well that's the original motor for the DMU just there just put those there and I've also got the motor the class 31 here now the reason I've taken this one out is because he said that this didn't work um, the need to re-solder the resistor back on um, I did place it on and place it onto the track and it did sort of spark and try and do something so if we can re-solder that onto there and give it a clean up that might also work but uh, if not we do have two others here we can have a go at so what we'll do is I'll show you the D the class 37 first because I was told that works it's got a funny little sound amplifier to it as well but um, again I will give it a clean up um, just to make sure it all goes nice and smooth on the new layout so let's just plug the controller in here now these are all triang models so they're quite old models now if i show you the d37 the class 37 here for its age it's actually in really good condition it's got all its buffers and everything is there the wheels could probably do with a bit of a clean but yeah triang there made in britain but yeah i'll show you how this one goes and um you'll also hear the the funny little sound effect module which is in it. Let's just get this on here. Right. You hear that sound there? Then going forward. But yeah, it works quite nicely. It's a bit scrapey, but uh let's say a clean up, but that's a weird I've never come across anything like this before, but yeah, it's a, that's a strange sound on that. But yeah, it all works anyway, so I'm happy with that. I'll say give it a little clean up and that'll probably work much, much better. Now, what I'll test first is um, I'm going to test this spare motor that I've got. Because he said it did work, but very, very slowly in both directions. So um, again, if we give this a good clean up, that should should be okay. But let's stick him on there, and let's just see what this does. 
Mm, yeah, it does work. It is very sticky though. Let's give it a tap. Yeah, it's got a bit of spark there as well, so definitely we'll give that one clean up as well. Let's just take that off. Now I'm interested to see what these two do because he was quite a new seller. And I did ask him the question, I sent him a message and I said, you know, are these in working condition? And I got a simple answer saying, yeah. But he's delivered them quickly, so I'll give him a thumbs up there. And again, these are in quite old condition. This one's got all its buffers present. And um, again, the wheels were quite, quite old, isn't it? But um, yeah, the white colouring on the side there is kind of getting a greeny tinge. You can't really see it on the camera there. But um, that's not an issue. But let's stick it on the track here. And then we'll see what he's up to. Let's just get him on. Right. So, yeah, he said that both of these worked. So let's find out. Well, he's going. Very s well, it does work, so I might just need a clean up. Yeah, it's very sticky that. So you can give that one a clean up as well. Right. Let's try this one. Now I'm probably guessing that this is in similar order. Now all these were quite cheap. The most expensive one I got was the Class 37 and I think I got that for about £38 plus a bit of postage. Um, these two here I actually got for £16 plus £14 postage so about £30 there. And uh, these ones here I only got for £19 plus a little bit of postage. So. They're all not too bad buys considering their age, but let's just see how this one goes. Mm, that one doesn't seem to want to do much at all. Let's just make sure he's on the tracks, right? It looks like he is. No, this one doesn't want to do anything at all, do it? Let's try it again, the other way. Yeah, no, that one's completely dead. So uh, we'll take that one apart and have a look. Okay, now uh, this is the motor I originally took out of here. And uh, also the seller told me that this worked. But uh, when I first tested this one, I mean, that's sparking on there already. There's no even power going towards it. But uh, it smoked and sparked like a good one. You can see the smoke coming off it. It's moving a bit smoother. But uh, yeah, we won't <laughs> have that going much further. But yeah, I have downloaded the service sheets for these. Uh, and this one's got all the brushes and everything, so if we can take it apart without having to try and do any resoldering, we can possibly get that one working okay. But um, we do have the spare one here, which I got today, so we'll give that a clean up and um, see if we can get that one working any better. So what we'll do is, we'll start with this one, we'll give it a little clean up, and then um, we'll retest it and see what it's up to. Right, so with this one here, which was different from uh, the one I actually took out of the model, is it's actually got sponges either side for lubrication, whereas the one here is missing the brushes, or the sponges rather. So we're just going to do a basic little clean up and service. So we're going to lubricate inside here, we're going to clean up the worm drives here. And we're going to also clean up the commutator and the brushes, which is just inside there. So 
So what I use is just a tiny bit of lighter fuel. first is give the wheels a clean oh, I see the stuff coming off of these already if you look Now we'll do the commentator. So now with the commutator, what you want to do is just again a bit on the thing there. Now what I do is I just place it in there and then spin it around with my finger. Just so it gives it a good old clean up and I'll probably do this two or three times just to give it a good clean because there's a lot of carbon build up which you get on there. Also, with the commutator, I doubt you'll see it on the camera here, but it has little tiny lines, which you can just make out there on the camera. So what I do is, is with a very small needle, I just scrape out the lines of any carbon buildup which could be in there. Now we've done the basic clean up, we're just going to give it a bit of lubrication. So like I said before, we're just going to lubricate in the sponges just here. Also, just where the wheels are on the chassis and just a tiny bit in the worm driver there as well. Right, so now that's lubricated, I'm going to let it settle for a bit, let that lubrication soak in a little bit and then we'll give that another test in a little bit right okay so let's give the dmu motor another little test okay, forward a little touch oh yep yeah, that's definitely much quicker oh yeah nice Nice. Nice. Still a bit sparky on the commentator. And on the wheels, that could do with a bit more of a clean up there, but yeah, I'm happy generally with the performance of that right now. So let's take that one off. Now, I'm having a bit of trouble with the motors on my class 31s because my soldering iron is not very good and they're going to need re-soldering because um, as I was retesting this one the capacitor popped off and that was the one that worked and um, what I've noticed with this one is I need to re-solder it but it does work a little bit and uh, yeah the one I've got here unfortunately the metal contacts aren't all touching the wheels so we're not getting full full current going towards the wheels unfortunately so I'm a bit of a loss what to do with these but I may be able to get one of these to work in one of those but I also do have another one of these ordered which should be coming 
next week. So if these don't work, I've got another one up to test. Right, I've just given the original Class 31 motor a little service and I've used some of the spares that I've had out of here so it's got a new brush put in it now. I managed to take this bit off and also give the commutator a really good clean up and a little bit of lubrication. So let's see if the original 31 motor will do any better. Oh yeah, look at that. That's much better. Oh yes. Reverse. Oh, go on, Sam. Yes, much happier with that. And what we also haven't even done is, I haven't even soldered that capacitor down yet. It's literally just touching the metal. So what I might just do is just with a tiny bit of tape, just fasten that on so it stays there. And um, yeah, I'm really happy with that. Let's give that another go. Oh, go on, Sam. I'm still sparking a bit, but I'll give it a bit of lubrication now. And, oh, that's working loads better. Cool, that was nearly off the track then. Bring it back. Yes. Get in there. So there we go. I knew that if I just got a few of them, I'd get at least one good work and one out of all of them. You know what I mean? So I'm quite pleased with that really. So all I'm going to do now is pick which one the better body is and um, go for that one. Uh, this one's got all those buffers. That one's missing one. This one's missing one. Uh, the numbering is probably better on this one. But, yeah, as long as we've got one working, I'm quite chuffed with that. So, yeah, all good, all good. So, successful day, really. So, we've now got that little fella working. And we've also got a new DMU one working as well. See if we can slow run it. It's a bit sticky still. Maybe a little bit more lubrication on the sponges there and it'll be a good one. But um yeah, let's see what we can do with this one. Now this one kept cutting the controller out. Give it a little bit. Yeah, I've just gone and cut the control out straight away again. That has so. Yeah, there's definitely an issue with this one which we need to need to repair. But at the end of the day, I've managed to get two whole logos working out of a few motors and having a little bit of a fixy up and a mess around. So I'm quite chuffed. So we'll put them together and we'll see how they look when they're all back together. So. Let's see how he looks when he's all been put together. Nice. Very nice. Yep, happy with that now. I'd say that was a successful mission. So yeah, very pleased with that. Let's try the other one. Right, so this is the one that I didn't solder the resistor down. It's just sat on the metal. So let's uh, see what he's up to. Let's give him a little shove. Yeah, that's quite good. That's much better than what it was. Let's have him come forward. Yes, that's much better. Brilliant. Yep, happy with that. Right, now, another locomotive that we actually do have on the pocket line is an LNERB12. Now, it's not the exact number. It's going to be near enough impossible for me to get the exact locomotives that they have on the pocket line because some of them they just don't do. Others are going to be massively expensive. Uh, I have had a look for the um, Black Prince, the one I actually had a drive on. And, um, yeah... It's, I'm still going to try and do this on the strictest budget that I can, so £330 for a locomotive, I just can't do it at the moment. So, in the meantime, I'm looking at other alternatives. 
So as long as I, I think as long as I get the same locomotive and I can get the number as close as possible, that's going to be good enough for me. But anyway, they do have one of these on there. Now um, I've got two of these. This one is my original, just here. And uh, the one at the back here is the one that I got off Clive, aka Newland Railway. Now, uh, the last time I tested this one, there was smoking quite a bit, so we're going to um, take him apart and we're going to have a look and see, you know, have a bit of a diagnostics and diagnose what the problem is. So let's have a butchers. If I remember this one, yet the screw is just uh, at the back there. You can just see there, we unscrew that, and the uh, body should just come away from the chassis. And then I'll be able to have a look and see what's making him burn up. Now, from what I remember, all the brushes on him were there, which they still seem to be. The motor looks in good order. So um, I can't think why he's burning up. But if uh, we just put it on the track like that and give it a test, we'll have a look. I'm going to shift the track a bit closer to you guys here. looks in pretty good condition because I did give it a really good and if you look there I can still see the smoke coming out and it's coming out from the commutator right there it's coming out from so there seems to be a lot of burn going on in there so I don't really know how I can clean that one up Let's take them off and have a look. Right, so you can see a lot of carbon build up around that, so we'll give that a clean up and we'll see how that performs in, in a little while. But um, for now, we will test. We will test the other one. Now, last time I tested it, this one worked absolutely fine. I say it wouldn't. A little clean up would not do it any harm at all. So let's just send him forward. Yeah, no, he worked really nicely. Slow runs nicely as well. So yeah, in all, I still have a decent B12 at work, so not too disappointed. But I'm going to give this one a clean up, and um, we'll see if we can sort out that smoking issue. Right, I've given it a basic clean up. I've not given it any more lubrication because I tell you what, the amount of carbon that come off of this was incredible. So let's see. If it'll work now without smoking. Yes, that's much better. Look at that. It's not smoking at all. It's slow running really nicely. No smoke at all now. I just cleaned all the carbon all off of the commutator. Beautiful. Right, put it back together. He's not smoking anymore. He was running nicely, so let's just bend him round the track. Oh, look at that. Beautifully slow running. Oh, 
That's how they make the sound now. So nice. Really nice. Oh, I'm so happy with that. Really am. Well, guys, I've had a great day today. I've actually feel like I've actually got quite a bit done. And it's been good catching up with you guys again. I know it's been a while and I'll do my very best to try and be a little bit more consistent with the videos from now on, alright? Because uh, the next project I'm going to be doing is I need to stop buying locomotives for a bit and I actually need to start getting the loft sorted out. So that's going to be coming up shortly, alright? But for now, guys, take care and I will see you all very soon. Ta-da.